Time in range? Or time in tight range. I just debated a guy on this hot topic and I kicked his ass. This story and more coming up right now. We have used time and range defined as a blood sugar between 70 and 180 milligrams per deciliter for some time now. Data shows that keeping your blood sugars in this range more than 70% of the time is associated with a lower risk of long-term complications. However, some are now advocating that we move to a time in tight range goal of 70 to 140. This is a hot topic in the diabetes world. And in fact, Jeremy just participated in a debate at a recent major diabetes technology conference in Amsterdam. Jeremy, how did that go? Well, thanks for asking, Steve. I mean, I think it actually went really well. I laid out clear evidence for how advocating for time in tight range would not improve outcomes, would increase the risk of hypoglycemia, and decrease patients' quality of life. I mean, you know how much we struggle to stay in range, and now all of a sudden 70 to 180 is out, and it's 70 to 140. I mean, frankly, it's ridiculous, but I think I laid out the argument really well. You certainly did, and you literally stunned the opposing side speechless. In fact, we have a clip of their reaction. Eric, roll the clip. We have no response. That was perfect. That's how you debate. 